what's up folks happy thursday welcome back i hope you're having a great day i'm having a great day we're continuing this zach rushing streak if i am one thing i'm a man of my word so today we're going to be watching part two of triple b takes on disney and from the first half i I don't know what other shenanigans to expect from Zach and Uncle Ronnie. Also, free Ronnie out here. Free my boy. Uh, let's get into it. Y'all ever seen a grown man hook a four foot tall fish, hawk a fight like a kite, trying to reel it in and present it to the damn woman who won't let us keep the fish out of her pond? Well, hold on, because I got a story for you. Now, we're on our way to Florida, all right? We've been in the van about eight hours. It takes about eight hours to get from Biloxi, Mississippi to Orlando, Florida, maybe a little bit more, but we drive fast. Now, the whole okay. way there, me and Uncle Ronnie, we're not real keen about going, but we are on them liquid libations trying to ease our frustration pretty <laughs> well. But when we get to the house, one of the best things about this house where we were staying at is they had a lake behind it. Now, we did our research ahead of time and realized that we can fish in this pond. But when you tell a bunch of hey. rednecks that you can fish in a pond, we're not going to bring a whole bunch of food because we're going to rely pretty heavily on our angulatorial skills, and we're going to catch enough fish to have a fish fry. That was our plan. Well, as soon as we walked in the house, all the women are looking around at all the art and all the little plastic crabs and shit, and me and Uncle Ronnie just threw our damn uh, bags down and went straight outside with our fishing poles. We've been fishing about 20 minutes. We've got about six to eight bass. About that time, uh -huh. one of the tenants that's a permanent residence there walks over to us. Let, that lets us know that you can't catch these fish. We said, that's bullshit. We done done our research. Well, she yeah, said, she called security about? on us and everything like that, and they had to tell us that we couldn't keep the fish because one of the permanent what? residents doesn't like it, this, that, and the other bullshit. I anyway, don't care. their house, their rules. Now. Fast forward to the next morning. Next morning at 4.15 a.m., I hear a noise. It sounds like, uh, mm, sounds like a wooden spoon banging on a pot, which is exactly what the fuck it was. All right, okay. me and Uncle Ronnie get up out of bed, walk outside. The same woman that stopped us from keeping the fish yesterday and having our fish fry is walking around this pond with a wooden spoon in a pot, beating this pot, trying to scare off a four-foot-tall fish hawk. Okay? Well, me and Uncle Ronnie are problem <laughs> solvers. Y'all need to really realize that. Okay? We devised the plan. So we went out there and talked to the Toothless Wonder. You could tell she was a Yankee. <laughs> but we went out there and talked to the Toothless, toothless Wonder. We call her. And said, ma'am, what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm trying to scare this fish hawk off. It's ate like 30 fish this week, and it's eating all my fish. I said, ma'am, uh, we're pretty good at this kind of thing. Could we help you out in any way? She goes, how are you going to help me? I said, ma'am, we can take care of this crane problem you got. This fish hawk won't no longer be an issue, but in return... We want to be able to keep enough fish to have a fish yeah. fry. She goes, you can't yeah. catch this hawk. I've been trying for a year. I said, ma'am, you're not real keen on who we are. We've yeah. done some really, a lot dumber shit than this in our lifetime. Okay? <laughs> she goes, all right, if you catch the hawk and you get him gone, you can keep enough fish for a fish fry. I said, done deal. Now, me and Uncle Ronnie went back in the house, tried on two hula poppers to our damn ducket rods, and with like number eight treble hooks. Our plan was to go out there and hook this bird, reel it in, you know, we got braid on our lines, we were going to reel it in and then relocate it. Here's okay. where we hit a snag in our plan. <laughs> Uncle Ronnie got the shot. He, the, the fish hawk landed close enough to him where he could cast over it, and he snagged it. Now, when I tell okay. y'all that this four-foot-tall fish hawk has got this, this poor rod is doing everything it can to reel it in. It looks like Ronnie's flying a kite. This some bitch is just <laughs> take and drag, take and drag. So we had to tighten it down, and we had to hand line this damn crane in. Now, we got the crane in, All and I'm right. holding this beak shut. Uncle Ronnie's got the wings, and then uh, the feet are just kind of doing like like that right there. Of now, course. We went over and knocked on Toothless's door. All right? She opened the door. We presented her the hawk. The hawk got loose. All right? Oh, she Lord. Got loose in her pool area. I don't see like that's our problem because the fish, the fish hawk is no longer eating the fish. This woman <laughs> called the law on us for disturbing wildlife after she's done told us to catch what? this hawk. That's bullshit. Fight me. That, 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 that's going back on what you said. Square we up. We didn't get to keep the fish out of the pond to have a fish fry. We almost had to leave. Thank God that the cop that came was a fan of mine. He thought it was funny <laughs> as shit. I didn't think it was funny. I was hot. If she'd had any tooth in her head, I was going to tell Sarah to slap the shit out of her. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Shit. Yo! Listen. That... <sighs> I don't, I don't, I don't feel like Zach and Ronnie were the problem. It was, it was old toothless. <laughs> she was very. She wasn't what us Philadelphians would call thorough, or thorough. 
She wasn't a real one. She did not keep her word. Therefore, she's a chump. She's one of the biggest chumps. And I'm glad that the bird got loose. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.